Hey, I'm over here. I'm, I'm setting up the stream right now. Uh, we are here for night two. Uh, the pre-show is live. It started about a quarter, quarter of five ago. Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's 15 after. So, yeah, I had to take care of some stuff. Yeah, get some food, some provisions for today, man. We are good to go, but I'm over here, guys. I'm over here. I'm right here. Got my shades on because I ran inside. <laughs> I ran inside real quick. So I'm just setting up the stream real quick. So give me a second, and we are going to, uh, well, I'm going to get my salad and stuff, but um, we are going to do this thing, man. We're going to do this thing. If you didn't watch last night, uh, it was freaking awesome. I uh, live streamed my night one reaction. I know you guys can't see me right now because I'm using a Logitech camera, so I can't switch the, the camera. I'm, I'm trying the Logitech camera today. That way I'm not looking all blown out and whatnot, you know, with the, the lighting. But, um, yeah, I put the timestamps in there for the pre-show, and then with the, when the show actually started... So, yeah, go check that out. Show me some love over there. Got one copyright strike and, of course, it, or copyright claim, not strike. Copyright claim for the Rocks theme, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, but it is, it is what it is. That video is still up. You can watch it. So it wasn't a worldwide block. Thank goodness. So whatever I did yesterday, we're going to do that again today. And uh, we're going to have a good time, man. Hopefully. Let's hope. Let's hope tonight is a banger. I'm going to need another thumbnail that I'm going to have to set up here. Uh, but give me one second and let me get everything situated here for night two. For night two. All right. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Just waiting for there we go yeah sometimes when i try to add a video into my playlist it like takes forever for some reason all right so there we go i will wrap with you guys here in a little bit but first let me finish setting everything up let me get the thumbnail too let me go ahead and do that Sure, the desktop audio is not playing. There we go. Yo, Lex Lewis is here. King Ghost Wolf, you're early, lol. <laughs> now that's what we did yesterday. We we uh, reacted to the pre-show stuff and then we reacted to the main show. All right, hold on. Let me get a thumbnail real quick. Give me one second. Let me get reposition, repositioning. All right. Oh no, I'm wearing green. Oh no. Let me see. I'm waiting for it to catch up on the stream. How much of a delay is it? Oh no. Oh man. I gotta go change. I gotta go change. Oh, I'm wearing green. Thank you. 
Alright. Let's see. How, how's this? I gotta wait for the delay. Let me see. See how this looks. I mean, Arnold's hat, I mean, uh, here is, it's not no, showing correctly, but I think it's, it is, it is what it is. When I sit down, let me see, and his shirt is green. Let me see. Let me see. When I sit down, man, I'm rocking it, man. Hey, Arnold, I'm rocking it, dude. I'm rocking it. Oh, yeah, let me get the thumbnail. Let me get the thumbnail. I got reposition. I got reposition. I got reposition. Hold on. Hold on. I got reposition. Hold on. Over here. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Right here. I'm trying to figure out where the green screen is. Oh, right here. The green screen's right here. Okay, it's right here. Like. There we go. All right, I got it. There we go. so hot in here. I had the heat on last night. Still being able to be here, reconnecting with old friends, meeting new ones, seeing old buddies that I love working with. Uh, this is all kind of overwhelming for me. And I am no more the same person I was 10 years ago than Triple H is the same person he was 10 years ago. All right. Got the thumbnail. I'll check your comments here in a second. I'm sorry. I'm just setting up the thumbnail real quick. Setting up the stream. <sighs> I hope you guys are doing awesome today. Like I said, yesterday was a phenomenal stream. And guess what, guys? We got a new intro. I got a new intro set up. Do you guys want to see a sneak peek? Or you just want to see it straight up? Nah, I'm not going to show you a sneak peek. I'll just show you it straight up. You want to see it? Let me know if you guys want to see it. Uh, where is my WrestleMania thumbnail? Okay, I'm gonna just type in Wrestle, WrestleMania. There we go. Night two. All right, here we go. Wheatly, so good, I drink it neatly. So good, I drink it neatly. All right, got the thumbnail set up. Right. Yeah, we got a shorter intro now. Let me see, because the, uh, it's 2024, it's about time I update my intro. Um, let's see, the original intro is a minute 38 seconds. I got this one is a minute, a minute not, uh, 17 seconds. So this one's a little bit shorter. But also gives me enough time to uh, edit the footage, I mean, edit the tags and everything. Well, we're, go we're, we're just going to be streaming on YouTube after we're done with Princess Peach. Like, I'm done with Twitch again. <laughs> like, I'm just tired of people just coming up in here telling me about, hey, man, art. You want you want you want me to draw you something? You want, you want me to do art for your channel? And I'm just like, bro, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, bro. And that's the only people that usually come up in my streams too, man. And on on uh Twitch. All right, drop in here. I'm gonna have to post to tw uh, excuse me X. Excuse me, X. I cannot wait to eat. I haven't eaten all day, bro. 
I haven't eaten all fracking day, bro. Alright. Alright, we are posted. Posted. On the community tab. Go hit the like button on the community tab real quick, if you don't mind. Thank you. Appreciate you. And let's see. Uh, post to X. Uh, I did. Uh, hold on, man. Hold. On. I, I, I gotta talk about WrestleMania real quick too, man. Like I gotta talk about the reactions I saw at WrestleMania too, man. Cause it's it's kind of mixed out there, man. I gotta. I, I'm not gonna lie, man. I watched a lot of people I'm subscribed to. I, I went through X to see how hype people were. You know, I give you my 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 full reaction, man. My thoughts and opinions and whatnot. And let's do that real quick. All right. We are live. Boom, boom, boom. And tags are live. Phew. Who? Excuse me. Allergies, man. Oh man. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh. All right. So yeah, what's up guys? How's it going? How you doing today, man? How we doing today? Get the laptop set up. Yeah, so uh I was what, uh, dude? The press conference that they did last night after WrestleMania was, was so good, man. It was so good. You had Bianca, Naomi, and uh, Jade just vibing, having a good time. Uh, freaking Roman Reigns put people in their place, dude. That, whoo, that was beautiful, man. That was beautiful last night. Hopefully, you guys catched it. Um, but yeah, what I saw was I saw mixed opinions about WrestleMania, especially like the Gunther and Sami Zayn match. Like I, I love Gunther. Don't get me wrong, I love Gunther. Um, I feel like his title reign has been really strong. Some people just didn't like the fact that Sami Zayn was the one that that took the championship belt from El Generico. And I gotta say, man, I, I'm, I'm I disagree, man. Sami Zayn is a Phenomenal wrestler in his own right. I, he has a strong story going on right now. You know, trying to accomplish his goals and finally attain the championship belt, man. And it, it's just like, it's a rocky moment, man. And it's beautiful. But, yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe because I don't, I don't watch wrestling like 24-7. You know, like I don't watch everything. I don't watch... I don't watch all AEW. I don't watch all of WWE's content. You know, like they got their the X now uh, shows and whatnot. I don't. I maybe just because I don't consume as much wrestling as other people that I follow. Um, maybe I'm just not, you know, sour on it. I'm just not sour on the, you know, the outcomes and stuff like that. I'm not. I'm not a critic. I just watch it just to be entertained. And I don't know, maybe it's like when I stream, because I'm not going to lie, guys, when I stream sometimes, I feel like I've been doing it for so long, playing video games, like at a point when I hit that that uh, stream button, you know, I'm, I I try to keep my vibes up. I try to stay positive. But sometimes I'm just like, ah, oh, man, I got to play this game today. Oh, I don't, I really don't want to do this, man. I'd rather just take the day off. And that's what I did, you know, this week. I, I said... I'm not going to stream any games Friday, Saturday. You know, normally I don't stream on Sunday, so I didn't stream. On, I'm not going to be streaming on Sunday today, uh, video games wise. But we are reacting to Re WrestleMania here, and I, I don't know. I think after a while, when you do the same thing over and over again, you start to lose that magic, and you know, it, it kind of puts a 
put you in a mindset where you're like, God, I'm just like, uh, I'm seeing the same stuff over and over again. I'm not interested in this, you know, but I got to do what I got to do because, you know, this is what I built my channel on, off of. You know, this is, I'm not going to try to say I know the mindset of, of those people that were critiquing WrestleMania, but as somebody who, you know, casually watches wrestling every now and then when I can catch it, you know, I watch Raw every week. SmackDown, I catch it like on Hulu sometimes, you know, if I don't watch it night one, Friday, I usually just pull it up on, on Hulu because usually Hulu has the full hour and a half of the show. So I, I would just watch it there. I'll catch up on like Saturday and Sunday. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, someone who critiques wrestling. I just, I just enjoy watching it. I think after a while, when you do it so for so long, it, like it probably just becomes like repetitive, you know. So it is what it is. But yeah, I, I thought WrestleMania Night One was phenomenal, in my opinion. You know. Coming back from uh, watching like a bunch of AEW and whatnot, I'm like, man, WWE is really killing it right now. They're in a good place, you know. Hunter, Paul, Triple H, Levette, is taking uh, taking over a creative control of WWE, and you definitely see it, man. You definitely see some wrestlers being pushed again, like Bronson, Bronson Reed. He was. He was a former NXT champion, man, in his own right. You know, and then he came up to the main roster, and Vince and Creative didn't really do anything with him. They was just like, oh, he's the big guy. He's the big guy. That's it. You know, he's just going to bully people. But, you know, he won the Andre the Giant Battle Royale the other day, and I got a feeling Bronson Reed is going to get back on track, you know, just like he was in NXT. So, you know, it, it's going to take some time, but... I, I really feel like this is the reset button right here, WrestleMania. You know, they're putting him, The Rock, Paul Heyman, you know, they're doing their thing as far as creative. They're, they're going to be pushing some talent that a lot of us aren't accustomed to, like whether it's coming from NXT or maybe even from another division. You know, you never know. They could do some cross promotions here and there, maybe with Ring of Honor. We just don't know. So I would say... Just like the whole Maxine Dupree thing that we had earlier this year, like, guys, just give it some time, you know. But a lot of people, you know, they don't have time on their hands. They want it now. They want the big moments now. But it is what it is, man. You can't please everyone. If I learned anything from being on YouTube and Twitch and stuff, as long as I've been, especially YouTube, and, and watching all the different content creators that I've watched, you know, growing up pretty much, you know, watching YouTube, um, you can't please everyone. There's going to be people that are going to critique your work. There's going to be people that agree with you, but you can't, you can't please both sides. You, all you can do is just be yourself, stay true to yourself, and create the best content that you can create, and that's what I'm going to be doing on my channel. That's what I've been doing for many years, and hopefully years to come. So, mic drop, boom. Now, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go get my salad. I'm going to get my salad, and uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna get... Get, get started for some WrestleMania, bro. I went, did some food shopping, too. Because yesterday, I was like, bro, I don't want to spend, like, $20 on DoorDash. And I ended up making uh, some chicken patties and fries. But that's pretty heavy for me. So, today, I got some other stuff. So we're going to do that. Uh, yo, King Ghostwell says, watch a big, massive brawl coming with Bloodline. You're going to see people who hate the Bloodline, sh who hate the Bloodline, a blood, uh, hate the Bloodline show up. Oh, oh, okay. I, I should have read your next line right there. Line. Okay, there we go. Yeah. That's one of the things that I heard, too, is that, man, it's going to be crazy seeing how the bloodline match goes tonight man it's gonna just be crazy man there's gonna be so many different spots oh man who knows what's gonna happen who knows what's gonna happen it, it could be a, a a hot mess we shall see we shall see dude How's the audio? Let me turn up. Where is the remote? 
I can hear myself. How's that? That should be good enough. Once the actual show starts, I'm going to turn it up a little bit higher. The Logitech is working. Dude, I, I, dude, sweating, man. I was sweating. Dude, freaking my phone said it was going to be like 60 degrees today. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll, I'll, wear, I'll, I'll put on a little bit of hefty clothing. You know, I'll put a jacket on. I'll put on my... My uh, sweats right here, you know. Went outside. It's ugh, turned on my car. It said seventy-seven degrees. I was like, "What the? What happened?" Apple lied to me. It says sixty, seventy-seven degrees outside, man. And I made sure it was in my area too. And I just drove with the AC on. <laughs> I was like, "I'm not changing. I ain't got time for this." Oh man, Eo Sky, let's go, baby. King Ghostwolf says Seth might show up if he's not that injured after his match. Jay will show up. Who else? Who else could show up? Uh, Seth. I wouldn't be surprised if LA Knight shows up. Because mm, LA Knight has history with the bloodline too. I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up. I know Drew's most likely going to interfere. Uh, uh, I could I could see Drew interfering because the bloodline has definitely helped Drew in his matches, even though that wasn't their motive to help Drew. But I got a feeling Drew's going to flip the script and, and change sides. He's not going to be down with the bloodline, but he's definitely going to Use the bloodline to his advantage. I think tonight in Seth's match, I got a feeling the bloodline might interfere. Someone from the bloodline might interfere in uh, Seth and Drew McIntyre's match. And then vice versa, you know. Randy Orton. Yeah, Randy. Randy could definitely. Like, what's Randy doing? Randy got the KO and Logan Paul match. Yeah, Randy could show up. It could just be a culmination of people that, that the bloodline has screwed over. Sammy Zayn could show up. Ooh, Sammy could show up. No, Sammy, definitely. Sammy Sammy should show up. Sammy Zayn. That makes sense. Did they say what the temperature was out there in Philly? Because they had, like, dude, that press conference was so good. If you didn't watch it last night, definitely swing over there. Watch it. It was good. It was really good. I love Roman Reigns just telling people, yo, listen, no, get out. No, no, you thought that was funny? Get out. Oh, I just loved it. Uh, come with a better question. Is that the best you got? Next. <laughs> you know, I, I just love it, man. After watching that last night, I'm kind of like, man, I kind of want to see Roman retain it, <laughs> I, I kind of like this, man. I'm, I'm like, at this point, he's so in character that I'm like, yo, Roman, push him to the moon, man. Uh, there's, a, there's a little bit in me that's like, damn, I really want Roman to win and retain the title. Because he is just on top of the world, man. He's in a whole nother stratosphere, man. Just so good. 61 degrees in Philly. Ooh. God, man, I want I want Cody to finish the story, but I wouldn't be surprised if they shock us with Roman retaining the title because everybody's like convinced that Cody could win. But there is, you know, Triple H is doing crazy things with creative right now. He's like a book never closes. You remember the, 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 the uh, press event, I think, last year with WrestleMania? He said the books, the chapter may end but another chapter opens up the book never ends so they, they could flip the script on us that i'm not gonna lie that would be awesome if they did that because that would be a huge shock moment because everybody and their mother's like cody's winning tonight myself included i'm like cody's winning tonight but if they just did that that would shock the world that'd be crazy what cody fails again at wrestlemania Whew. And then 
I hear the battle cry under the devil's. The one wing angel flies. Are you ready to go? Are you ready? To... We get, we get, we get Kenny Omega, the Terminator, Omega Man. He, he shows up at the next WrestleMania or in the Royal Rumble at number thirty. God, I, uh, uh, Kenny, Kenny wants to retire, bro. I'm, I'm just like, uh. Uh, let's see. King Goso said he had the title long enough. <laughs> Lex Lewis said V trigger, bro. We we think of the same thing, bro. We think of the same thing, dude. How crazy would that be? I'm trying to think, man. Like, oh, Ooh, or Will Osprey. Oh my God. I don't. But tell you the truth, I don't know if Roman's good. I don't know if he could keep up with Will Osprey. I don't know if he could keep up with I mean, they could probably have a good match, but I feel like uh, I feel like Will Ospreay is one of those guys that would just run circles around Roman. I'm not going to lie. He, Will Ospreay is just top tier, man. He's on a whole nother level. Yeah, I would pop. I would pop for either or. But, yo, at the press event last night, or M M MFG, or you mean um, MJF? You mean MJF? I don't know, man. Two people that love to cheat <laughs> in the ring. Hmm. Or hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. This happens, this happens. What if Roman <laughs> retains and then Damian Priest shows up with the... We forgot about that, too. Money in the bank. Senior money in the bank. You could shock the world with Roman retaining, and you could just make our jaw drop and go crazy for Damian Priest to beat Roman Reigns. Oh, because like if if the if the Judgment Day is still gonna stick together, could you imagine the Judgment Day, one of the most powerful tag team slash factions in WWE against? Literally the most powerful faction in WWE <laughs> in the bloodline, dude. Oh, oh. And uh, and right now, Damien. Remember a couple of months ago, I was like, I don't know, I don't know. When we was like, uh, trying to make predictions for who could win at Royal Rumble and you know, take the title from from Roman at WrestleMania. Damien, he's been doing some great work. I'm not gonna lie. Damien is making me a believer, man. Punishment Martinez is making me a, a believer again, bro. Yes, he he could do it, man. Damien could do it, man. And right now, I think Damien is up there, man. He's hot right now. I could see it. This if if there was a night to cash in, it would be on Roman and Cody. But, oh, man, oh, hold on, hold on. Or it could be Drew and Seth. Because could you imagine Drew finally has his WrestleMania moment in front of a live audience? We already know Seth is, it, it got messed up the other night. Could you imagine Drew finally wins the title, gets his WrestleMania moment, Damian cashes in and steals it from him. Same thing with Cody. Cody finally has his WrestleMania moment, beats Roman Reigns. Damien cashes in. Damien is gonna be the man tonight. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna be the man to screw someone over. Oh man, dude. If I'm Damien Priest, I'm like, Seth is, like, he's worse for wear. Drew, uh, I don't know, man. We shall see. That's a big guy. He gets tired fast, right? <laughs> if Seth just runs circles around Drew for a little bit, you know, Drew's huffing and puffing, you know, breathing heavy, you know, the match goes on for a long time. Damien might have the opportunity 
to cash in. I don't know, that Claymore comes pretty fast, man. Just like with Roman, that spear comes out of nowhere. So it could be it could be a Claymore out of nowhere. You know, he's, he hands the briefcase to the ref. The ref, ding, ding, ding. Damien turns around, Claymore, boom. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> So Damien, Damien gotta, Damien gotta be careful. But yeah, I, I want, I would love to see Damien cash in tonight, no matter what match it is, the Seth or the the Roman one. I, I don't care, man. I want to see Damien become champion because right now, he's doing really good things in in the Judgment Day. And then you're gonna have Damien as either the World Heavyweight Champion or the Universal Champion, and then you got Rhea, Mommy, in there as the Women's Champion. Oh, and then both of them colliding, you know, because, ooh, they're both leaders in their own right. Oh. Oh. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I kind of wanted to see, I kind of want to see Judgment Day draped in gold. What, what, title, what title could Dominic go for? He could go back to NXT. Or he could go, he could go for Sammy. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. Pat Santos says Roman Reign is strong ever he have leukemia. He still fight. Yep. Yep. Yeah, like I said, watch the press event last night, guys. If you didn't see it, he told dude, that was one of the questions he was asked. Definitely check it out. Uh, let's see. Seth wins and cashes in on... Seth, after being really hurt, yep, a smart move. Since he got messed up, yep. The Judgment Day are coming out with gold, bro. Dude, that's going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome, man. I can't wait to see Damian cash in. I hope he cashes in tonight. Tonight will be the best opportunity. Especially, like, let's say, let's say Seth retains. Oh, my God. That, Seth is, Seth is going to be limping if he wins. It's going to be over. Damien's going to come out, destroy him. Hit him with the south of heaven, done. Game over. Let's do Seth Gold. Uh, Justin says, how how Rick? You mean Ricochet? Oh, you mean, or how Rock? I don't know what you're trying to say here. Pat Sanders says, that's good, yeah. Yeah, he's strong, man. Yeah, Damien looking strong, dude. Looking super strong. He looking jack, baby. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to step out for a second. Enjoy the audio. Hopefully, you can hear it. I'm going to step out for a quick second. I'll be right back.
Seth Rollins defending the World Heavyweight Championship tonight against Drew McIntyre at the Lake Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Now, guys, you just saw a package which showed all the great numbers uh, that have come over the last 40 years of WrestleMania. Here's one very important number. That number is one. That means one. myself like what what was real you know was our friendship real did they really believe in me or were they just using me and then it's over history against us when I was in my most vulnerable state she knew what she was doing she manipulated me she tricked me and I fell for it I really have to say to people who think that maybe you had it coming well Kayla you know uh, very well that I have made a lot of enemies over the past few years
can't hurt to trail can be a huge motivator. Absolutely, and it hurts my heart to see Bailey betray. I know she wasn't the nicest to people on SmackDown, but I see that TV snake the tight, the, the film oh. tight. I, I slept three hours the last four days. Well, thank um, you for everything you've done. Yeah, I appreciate that, Bob. But listen, she says she's more focused, and it worries me because sometimes you got to talk yourself up. You have to, you have to be your own boss. You have to talk about being more focused. She might want revenge more than she's focused on getting the title. She's got all of her competitors stepping in the ring with her tonight. That's what worries me, Big E, because Io Sky is one of the most underrated champions of the last decade here in WWE. She truly is. She's slept on, and she knows Bailey very, very well. Uh, you know, and this whole situation reminds me, too, of why I've been so hesitant to have kids of my own, because I think of having a family, and I think bringing people under your wing, and one day they, they turn on you. Oh. One day they stab you in the back for your children, your Six. family. But what Io Sky has done has been nothing short of phenomenal. You're talking about a supreme talent. Whenever you say underrated, you're damn right. Supreme talent in there. And I know Bailey's been on social media the last day or two talking about how it's all going to go. But I don't think any of us can wait until it gets started in there. There's a championship on the line here before that. I guarantee you that uh, our broadcast colleague Peter Rosenberg's all blown up now. He was at the top of the stadium moments ago and totally understand oh, that. Yeah, he was saying, give me a couple pulls. Give me a homie up pull. Did you hear him out there? Yeah, well, now apparently he's at the best seat in the house. Name you went to last year in LA, and and tell me last night how did you feel about the tag match? How do you feel about Cody's chances uh, going in today? Good. You know I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm looking forward to being excited tonight. I think he'll finish the story, and you know that's all I hope for. I'll tell you what, guys, the view from up there was amazing. It was a little chillier, Pat. It really was. Yeah. But down here, it's going to be fantastic. You know, let's sit down and enjoy these seats, shall we? All right, Cole, and enjoy yourself, guys. Back to you, Biggie. You ever have a seat like this as a kid? He's less used to being treated like one himself. I want to just give this man his flowers. He has got the most iconic images in sports and certainly in boxing. Of course, the GOAT, Muhammad Ali. Uh, he did leave my group his champ title, so it's an honor and a round of applause for me as the GOAT. Thank you for choosing the team. As a photojournalist for just over 16 years now, and maybe a little so, but I never had that happen. From the time he was a teenager, right through me to camera, he was calling me. I felt I was going to be in submitting pictures for these kids in magazines. I was living my own rules as one publisher. And before I knew it, I was photojournalist. For Lifer, one photo of one subject would become more iconic than any other.
Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <clears throat> oh no. It backed out. Echo, go to Peacock. I found a few matches for that. Do you mean Indian Peacock sounds? Six hour relaxation? Echo, go to Peacock TV. <laughs> mm, I found a few skills that Oh boy, I hate I hate uh, Hey, Echo, shut up. Echo, shut up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Your kindness really gives me a charge. Hope you've enjoyed your weekend. No, Echo, I did not enjoy my weekend. How come when I, I selected, you know... <laughs> oh, man, you're pissing me off, Amazon, with your freaking products. Um, I, I watch Peacock all the time. Like, why was that not the first thing on my list of applications that I use? Like, what the hell is going on here? <sighs> oh, yeah, I went back to wearing my green shirt. All right, now it's like buffering. Uh, there we go. This is live? Okay, let me make sure. I click go live. There we go. Freaking peacock and... I freaking hit my remote. Throw this remote in the ottoman right there. Don't touch it. There we go. Oh, my God. Ah. Uh, you won't get the rock? You won't get the rock? Woo, boy. Oh, man. I'm sweating, bro. <clears throat> Hold on. All right, how much more time we got? Oh, 58 minutes. Let's go, baby. I'm going to turn the AC on. It's hot. Hot, man. Hot in here. I'm sweating. Woo. All right, Chad, I need to get naked for a second. I got to change my clothes. I get naked. Uh.
Oh, man, what's the snacks for tonight, man? What you guys eating? Oh. Oh. Well, got me a Cobb salad. Look at that. Woo, boy. Cobb salad. Usually my mom get these. I usually get like the apple flavor salad or spring harvest or whatever they usually have. I don't usually mess with cob salads, but that's what your boy got today. Give me some. What's this? Roasted pecans. Roasted pecan. And I got what? What's this? Crispy onions. Ooh. The dressing I went with, they normally go with... Uh, Ranch, but I went with pomegranate vinaigrette because I love vinaigrettes. Now, first, uh, I'm gonna dry taste this. Ooh. Uh. Mm. We got the lettuce, chicken, grilled chicken, bacon, eggs, shredded cheese, chopped up, tomato. Mmm. Delish. Okay. Let's mix it up a little bit. At our onions, crispy onions. This is from Wendy's. It's from Wendy's, man. That's where I usually get my salads. All right. Woo! That's a smell. That is a smell. Uh, onions. And, oh, they gave me ranch dressing, too. What? They gave me two dressings? Let's go. Let's go. Double. Wheatly, so good I drink it neatly. I like this advertisement. So good I drink it neatly. Yo, that's a... That's a banger. Roasted pecans. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's good. I feel like the salad at Wendy's is like one of the best values, man. I really feel like it's one of the best values. That and the four for four. But you only get the four for four if you got the app, which I have the app. I got the app. This salad didn't cost me anything. I had a bunch of points. All right. Hmm. Welcome to WrestleMania. Let me um, uh, let me do a poll. Let's do a poll. How how excited are you for night night two of WrestleMania? Let's do a poll.
We're going to have multiple options here. How excited are you? Yo, that, I'm not going to lie. That salad slaps. It's the Cobb salad, man. Oh, my God. Uh, how excited are you for... And let's see, the options would be extremely, extreme. Excited. And then, so we got extremely, we got No, nah, let's do it. Let's do it. Extremely excited. Meh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Extremely excited and meh. How about that? There we go. There's your options. Uh, King Ghostbook says, I want to see John Cena and Stone Cold come. You want to pause? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But, um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Damn. It's story time with Brandon, baby. I used to work at Burger King. It was like one of my first jobs, right? And at the end of the night, we would have like extra tender crisps or the grilled chicken left over. And the management would be like, just throw it in the trash. But I would be like, nah, I'm going to chop it up and make a salad. I take the lettuce that we use for the Whoppers and whatnot, the Whopper Juniors and sandwiches. And I would put it in, they had like the breakfast, uh, the breakfast bowls, I think, or whatnot. Because I don't remember, did, did, did Burger King used to have salads? I can't remember. But I would just do that, take some diced tomatoes and a bunch of that chicken, and that would be my dinner after work. I was still living with my parents at the time, too. Uh, I was a young lad. Mm-mm-mm. Now I see why my mom always get this this salad man it's a combination of so many flavors it's like ratatouille you now he's like can't just eat one thing by itself you gotta combine it with something else to give it flavor That's the one match I'm a little bit iffy about. The the street fight. We'll see how how good it is. Can't wait. You hate we can't stream this, man, bro. I wish. It'd be awesome. I mean, I could. I could do the WWE 2K24 thing. 
but I want to risk it. This is this is something I do not want to mess with WWE with. I do not want to mess up my relationship with WWE, man. Something I love. I think Drew going to take it tonight. Just like yesterday, we will be doing polls for each match. I think Drew's taking it. Drew's going to have his WrestleMania moment. And then possibly Damien's going to take it from him. <laughs> Saving the prime for later. <sighs> Drew's going to have his WrestleMania moment, baby. Title. A tomato, man. Give me a tomato, bro. Give me a tomato, bro. Come on. There we go. He finally get the title just to get screwed. <laughs> That's great, man. Drew McIntyre originally came into this business young, brash, Vince McMahon. Thought he was going to be the next big thing. Nope. And he left. Developed a new character. Got grittier. Got mean. Did his thing. Came back to the WWE. WrestleMania in an arena with no audience. But man, he's come a long way. Look at him. About to, about to be the next world heavyweight champion here at WrestleMania 40. Oh, I love watching that too, man. Like the Drew, uh, as he's leaving the arena type stuff, just making fun of CM Punk. <laughs> this is the best Drew in a good long time. Ken Ghost will say he's eating dinner now. What you eating for dinner, man?
Man, those crispy onions hit, man. I love that. Ooh. Oh. I'm just ready, man. Roast beef oven version with mashed potatoes, gravy, and spinach. Ooh. Sounds delicious. Ha, <laughs> somebody got a die jack poster. <laughs> Wow. That's awesome. WWE correspondent. I'm almost guy. I'm almost done, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm just like super hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day. It's 6:23 p.m. Let's come back in like uh, three minutes. <laughs> I'm almost done. Cody, 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 Cody. That guy's living his life, man. Not bad, man. Olympic gold medals. Co commentator right now for the pre show. Not bad. Cody Fields should be proud of himself. Man, he's working that crowd, too. <laughs> Yeah, stop screaming, he might lose his voice. <laughs> okay, okay. Shouts to all the Cody's out there. Three time gold medalist. Look at that. Makes you wonder what you guys done with your lives, right? <laughs> Damn. Myself too. <laughs> Myself included.
Damn. That's good, man. Shout outs to Cody Fields. Woo! I'm done, baby. I'm right here at the end. This is the last bite. I right hear it's the best bite. Mmm. That salad was awesome. But, to tell you the truth, I still like the, like, summer fest or, what is it, uh, strawberry harvest, whatever it's called at Wendy's. That, that one's the best one. Like, they have two fruit salads that go in and out. They're like spring harvest and then they're like the strawberry one. The Caesar salad is my least favorite, man. It's so it's so plain and boring. I got me a plastic knife utensil. Oh, they gave me another utensil. Dang, hey. Food line, uh, not food line. Uh, Wendy's taking care of your boy. All right. All right, clean this out later so I can recycle that. I gotta do my recycling tomorrow. Drew, Drew McIntyre. I love that jacket, man. Look at that jacket, leather jacket. That's fire. Mm. Woo! Man, Drew's winning that title tonight, man. <laughs> Yo, that chair is mad sus. That chair is mad sus. No women wearing skirts could sit in that chair. <laughs> okay. That is a. Uh, is that a chair Vince McMahon created? Oh shit! Oh, I went there. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Catch up right here. 
Uh, let's see, King Ghost, King Ghost Wolf says, I'll have to show you what I had yesterday. So good. All right. Post it in Discord. Uh, let's see. Oh, just judging me. Oh, for the sound. <laughs> for eating on stream. Oh, I was hungry, man. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Uh, Jamie Todd, what is the chance Roman versus Rock been announced tonight for next year? Have Cody win, money in the bank, and after Roman versus Rock, they do the Cody. Hold on. They do the Cody cash in. Think about it. Money in the bank is only in about three months' time. No, no, I think I think it's 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 either tonight or it's 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 never. Especially with Roman at, with the title. I think this is it. This is the last shot for Cody. Because Cody can't like the the stip stipulation that they said, and correct me if I'm wrong, I could have sworn Roman said this is the last shot Cody has to get anywhere near this title as long as Roman Reigns is holding it. Now, even if Cody wins money in the bank, still, you cannot face Roman Reigns. I think that was the stipulation, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. So it's either... Cody wins tonight, or as long as Roman has the title, Cody can never challenge for that title. Period. So, Cody, Cody's going to win tonight. Cody's going to win tonight. It would be interesting if they swerved us and Cody didn't win it, because that would be even more shocking. But everybody and their mother is convinced that Cody is winning it tonight. Usually when those type of stipulations come in, like it, it happened in AEW as well, right? I forget who it was. It was, uh, was it Cody again in there? Or was it Hangman? I think it was Hangman Adam Page, right? And it was uh, Hangman versus Kenny Omega, right? I, I think Kenny made the same stipulation where if Hangman doesn't win it, that's it. And then Hangman, you know, I, I don't think Hangman won it. He couldn't get, he couldn't go for the title, right? I think that that's that's where it happened, right? In the AEW, it was Hangman and uh, and Kenny. I think. Mm. King goes up say, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's the stipulation for tonight. If Cody doesn't win it, that he can no longer challenge for the championship belt. That's it. That is it. No money in the bank, cash in, none. You cannot go for the title. That is it. Tonight is it for Cody. We got four votes. Extremely. Yep, there we go. Everybody's extremely excited. I might do a poll after afterwards. Which night did you enjoy more? Night one or night two? We got 27 minutes. Let's go. What match are they going to start with? I don't know if they announced. I think it was going to be a surprise. That was one hell of our opener the other day with Rhea and Becky. That was freaking awesome. And, and it seems like people uh, are saying the same thing I said about the Jimmy and and J match. They they kinda should have went a little bit harder in that match. So having eighty percent super kick match is just uh it's not entertaining. Not entertaining to watch at all. Oh yeah, taxes. Gotta do your tax it taxes. Gotta do your taxes. Uh You feel like that was a like a filler match? No, nah, it was not a filler match. It was just poor direction, man. I don't know who said just super kick for the majority of the match. And then I didn't like the part where Jimmy was like, "Oh, I'm sorry," and Jay fell for it, man. Then he uh, he he post what they post on WWE uh, YouTube channel. 
And Jay was like, oh, he's family. Uh, come on, bro. Let me tell you something. If family screws you over as many times as Jay, uh, as Jimmy has screwed you over, man. Yo, uh-uh, not again. Don't fall for that. I wouldn't say cut him off, but yeah, hey, man. This, uh, what can I say? It's WWE, man. It's, it's entertainment. <laughs> Somebody does that to you in real life, just, uh, man, screw them. Screw them. He says, oh, what if Jimmy turns on Roman? That ain't happening. That ain't happening. If anybody's turning on, on Roman, it's The Rock. The final boss. And then Rock, last night at the press event, he did say that, you know, he climbed the mountain, but then he created another mountain that he wanted to climb. So Rock's not gone. So... It could we could have a Roman versus Rock later down the road. Rock said he doesn't want to be those type of he he, he wants to him and Hunter Triple H, Paul. When wrestlers like the Rock come back, they he wants the wrestlers to be in front of the audience consistently, you know. That's what The Rock did. And I, I appreciate that because some guys come back, like John Cena, for instance. You come back, you show up on SmackDown Raw, you do your pay-per-view, and then you're gone. You know, The Rock says, I want to come back. I want to be here. You know? Simple as that. I want to be in front of the camera. I want to be in front of the audience. I want to be in front of people. I want to I do this consistently. You know? And it's been awesome. Every, every time The Rock showed up, on TV, it was great. Then he even put himself in a situation where he's taking out Cody Rhodes, man. It was beautiful. You know, it was awesome. We'll see what happens. The authors of paid. I, I, I never really care. E even NXT, Razor and Aka, man, they're, they're big guys, but uh, I don't really care for them, man. Hey, they're boring. They're boring to watch. I didn't care for them then, and I don't care for them now. They're just big guys. They're boring. Who likes Razor and Acom? Alright. Uh. It's like, yo, we got these two big guys. What, what are we gonna do with them? Alright, let's make another faction. Wait, wait, carry and cross. Let's do that. Hey, just look, look at look at the thumbnail they got from him. Acom looks like he's like, what? I'm going to WrestleMania. <laughs> he's like, just look at him like. Huh? Everybody else is like, you know, um, st st uh, static picture is just like, like what? What? Want to fight? Acom's picture is like. <laughs> and then Karrion Cross, he's like, ugh. It's boring, man. I don't like them. Big dudes. No personality. Boring. <laughs> oh, can't figure out what to do with that. I know, man. It sucks, man. They can't. They ain't gonna be the next Brock Lesnar. It is a bunch of big dudes that ain't got no promo skills whatsoever. They're boring in the ring. They do big guy moves, but eh, it's not entertaining watching them. It's not like when you watch a Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed does big things. You know, Ivar does big things. He's, like, he's flipping and dipping, he's jumping off the ropes. You know? Acom and Ray's are just a whack. Wasted, wasted space, man. You could have created a better faction for Karrion Cross, man. Better faction. Those guys' contract got to be up soon. Ain't, 
they, they boring. JBL. That's a big guy. Now, that was you know, watching him and Farouk, Ron Simmons back in the days, man, those were two big guys. They do work in the ring. I don't know. Maybe they thought Acom and Razor was going to be like the next APA. Or not. They whack. Oh my god. Called him fluffy? Oh yeah, that is true. Yeah, it. They they were talking about how cold it was last night at the press event, and and the Rock he was over there drinking water, splashing it on on himself. I'm like what the hell? Rock going to catch a cold. <clears throat> I actually uh, started continuing watching Young Rock, man. I I watched all of season one, but I never watched season two and season three. So, season all the seasons are on Peacock. So I was just like, man, I'm just gonna watch Young Rock again. I kind of fell off of that because just like with gaming, like when I was watching TV shows, there was another show I was interested in, like Game of Thrones or something like that, and I just I just kind of fell off of a lot of the shows, just like my games. L A night, yeah. L A night's winning tonight, baby. I'd be surprised if A J wins. I don't know what, what they're gonna do with A J, man. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nasty ass burger. <laughs> yeah. Hey, night. Yeah. Woo. I think, I think AJ needs to cut his hair, put the jacket with the hoodie back on, and we just get quiet, just ass-whipping AJ Styles again. That's what we need. We need we need AJ Styles. We need TNA, AJ Styles. <laughs> we need the lone wolf, AJ Styles, back, baby. Cut that hair, grab that, that hoodie. Out of the closet. Yeah, I got. I think I got the autograph AJ with the when he had shorter hair too. That was the no. That was that was the phenomenal AJ stuff. Yeah. Man, AJ always getting attacked at his home. <laughs> didn't, didn't Randy do the same thing to him at his other house? AJ going to move again into a different house, and then he's going to get attacked by another wrestler. <laughs> I 
I love it, man. <laughs> that disguise was great. Oh, man. Man, I love LA Night, man. It's one of the reasons why I started watching SmackDown again. Because I was just mostly watching Raw. I would uh, check out what what happened on SmackDown on like YouTube. But it wasn't until I was, people were like, yo, you got to check out this L.A. Knight guy, man. I was like, okay. It's awesome. <laughs> 14 minutes. Let's go. 14 minutes. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I need to do? I think I'm good. Uh, got to get the prime. Let me get my prime. Oh, I'm so I showed too much skin. Ew. I flashed you guys. I'm, my apologies. Man, I bought, um, I went to Dollar Tree, did some grocery shopping, got some minor things. Sometimes I browse their, their frozen section, I, I just scoop up all the beef patties they got, man. I'm, I'm one of those people that's buying all the beef patties. If you ever go to Dollar Tree and you're like, where's the beef patties? It's me. It's me. <laughs> But I saw they had like um, jalapeno cheese bites, and I I was like, man, I saw Asmongold's 
dollar pizza. I'm just like, you know what, may I get me a dollar pizza? So I got me a dollar pizza. And uh <laughs> We'll see we'll see how it tastes. I'm not gonna make the make it the asthma gold way. I'm gonna just either just stray up the way it is. Yeah. Can't figure out what to do. Oh, with with AJ, man. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I I wouldn't mind seeing the Bullet Club come back, man. What what is this faction right now? The club. Wheatley, neatly. So good, I drink it neatly. Wheatley, so good, I drink it neatly. I like this. <laughs> I love this commercial, man. <laughs> I love it, dude. Wheatley, so good, I drink it neatly. What's you guys' favorite adver advertisement from WrestleMania so far? So far, it's my mine is uh, Wheatley. I love to drink it neatly. That's my favorite one, man. <laughs> oh man, I'm surprised we haven't seen a uh, Logan Paul KSI Prime commercial. I'm really surprised. I mean, I, I figure they, you know, they got their logo in the ring, but I have not seen. Any advertisements? What? We leave so good. So, wait, damn, I forget it again. So good, I drink it neatly. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at those little dachshunds. Oh, man. I miss my dachshund. I used to have a little dachshund, little little wiener dog. Yo, Domino's, Domino's got pan pizzas. Yo, Domino's got pan pizza. You know, this is why I've noticed. In America, we get a lot of these type of commercials. A lot of food, a lot of like medication type commercials. Overseas, it's not like that. You don't get all this food commercials just shoved in your face. But it's only here in America that I've seen so far. Is that you get nothing but you get KFC, Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's. Oh, the Wendy's commercials are very popular when you're watching wrestling over here. It's just like, uh, Just nonstop food commercials. And medication. Do you have erectile dysfunction? Uh, is your are, do you are you losing your hair? Uh, we got we got some pills for you to take. Oh, Zempic, hey, that <laughs> bad Santa said, yeah, bad propaganda. Dude, it's crazy. If you ever, yeah, I mean, you can watch like. You can watch, uh, like, UK TV and stuff like that. But the, t the the advertisements over there, there's ways to watch it. But I'm telling you, man, if you watch what's being broadcast over there, it's mostly, like, you know, cleaning products, you know. Oh, you want to buy this uh, appliance? You can buy this at this location. Over here in America, it's like that Boston Lager, uh, you know. Modelo, you know, Burger King, Wendy's, and we got some some medications you could take to up you, uh, make you feel better, you know, like it's crazy. Cody, go finish the story, and we're gonna finish the story this Monday. 
If Cody finishes tonight, we are going to finish the story this Monday. Me, Roman Reigns, again. Legendary difficulty. This time, this time, I'm not going to beat him just in a singles match. No, we're fighting bloodline rules <laughs> for the title. Legendary difficulty. I got I to make sure the wise man is with him. I got to make sure Solo and Jimmy is with him. Oh, wait, how many valets can he have? I think he could, I think he could have two. I think he could have two. We'll see. <laughs> Somebody got a sign that says Black Adam sucked. <laughs> yeah, it's right next to JBL. If Roman wins, we riot. <laughs> Support your local referee, okay? Oh man, these signs are good. My my favorite sign is the what's his name? He's Slater. I got kids. Oh man. Oh. Uh, Pat Santo says people are tired of Roman Reign being champion. Not really. I, I, I would I would uh, I would disagree. From the videos that I watched last night from my fellow content creators, you know there there are people that want to see Roman Reigns hold the title. Like especially the Gunther situation last night. Oh man, if you go back and watch, I don't know if you guys have the. Uh, the extension in your browser but you can't get an extension that allows you to see the likes and dislikes on videos if you go and watch every re other wrestlemania video and then watch the sammy Zayn videos from wrestlemania like the the, the the ones after he won the title the likes to dislike ratio oh boy there are a lot of people pissed off about gunther losing that title to sammy Zayn. And I think it's going to be the same thing with Roman Reigns. People love Roman Reigns. This is my favorite Roman Reigns. I, I, I preached it for years when he was wearing that vest. He was solo. I was like, solo uh, competitor. I was just like, dude, lose the vest, become a heel. I kept telling my brother this. I kept telling you guys this over and over again. He needs to just go heel. Soon as Roman turns heel, it's the best Roman ever. The best Roman. And he lost that stupid vest. And then having Paul Heyman behind you, you know, teaching you how to promo like the best of them. Oh, that press event last night with Roman just, he was like, what? That's your question? Next question. Oh, you thought that was funny? Get out. You know, that, that, that was great. That was great. When you are the man. You should be able to be like, I'm not answering your question. Uh, that wasn't a good one. Anybody got a better one? Oh, you you think this is a game? Get out of here. Told that he told that lady, get get out of here. Oh no, leave. Paul Heyman, he was like, yo, this ain't the this ain't baseball. There ain't three strikes. Oh man. And then there was a point at the end of that press conference. I forget what the last question that Roman was being asked. But Roman said some oh, he said said something to the likes, man, we're addicted, you know, WWE, we're addictive. You know, I, I put this place on the map, you know, this, it's, a, it's addictive. We like Coke. And I, Coke, I don't know if he's talking about Coca-Cola, but if you look at Paul Heyman, when, when Roman says that line, it's like Coke. We out here selling Coke. Or Paul Heyman was looking at him, he was just watching him the whole time as he was giving it, Given his response, and as soon as he said that line, Paul Heyman did a little smirk. He was like, "He's like, that's right, that's right. You say what you want, when you want, and how you want to say it. No filter." So now, I mean, Roman could be talking about Coca Cola. I'm just saying, but that was yo, Roman is fire, bro. That's one of the reasons why today, after watching that last night, the press event, I was just like, damn. I kind of don't want to see Cody win tonight, dude. So I'm, like, conflicted. I don't care who wins. 
I want Cody to win. I, I really do. I want him to finish the story. But I'm just like, damn, man. Damn. Roman's just good. Oh, snap. It's, it's going live. It's going live. Oh, it's, let's go. All right. I got to put the, the stopwatch up there. But I'm trying, I'm trying to minimize it. Bro, I can't minimize this thing. Can't minimize my stopwatch. Bro, I cannot minimize my stopwatch, bro. Ah, oh, screw it. It's just gonna be it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big, whatever. Uh what the hell? Same promo from yesterday. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Yeah, dang it. I was trying to figure this out for the longest. Okay. All right, here we go. Let me turn the volume up. Where's the remote? Oh, yeah, I put it in the, the ottoman. Here we go. Uh, let's turn the volume up. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's wait for this intro to finish playing with the music. Woo! Let's go! What's the first match we got, baby? Who you going for, Cody or Roman? Cody. But I'd be fine if Roman wins too. Because Roman is just freaking top tier. I want Cody to finish the story though. I'm I'm 70% Cody. That other 30%, I'm like, okay, I'm fine with Roman winning. <laughs> I'm fine with him retaining. He's too good, man. Alright. Who WrestleMania? All right. All right, let's turn it up. 
Oh, I should have bought some Snickers. Damn it. <laughs> I should have bought Snickers. Oh, yeah. Let's get the poll started, baby. What's going to be our first match? All right, let me end the first poll. We got four votes, 100%. Say extremely excited. Extremely. There we go. Let's end that poll. All right. Ooh, the Stormtrooper with the Cody Rhodes Nightmare logo. All right, come on. I do have to go take care of something after this uh, after this match. <coughs> Whatever match is about to pop up. Live at WrestleMania. Seth freaking what? All right. All right. All right, there we go. Audio is up. And put this away. But where's this piano? Where's this piano? Piano. Oh, you know what? Let's let's turn that down just in case I get copyright claim. I don't know if we're gonna get copyright. Claim. All right. Are we? Uh, uh, are we? Okay. Uh, is this what we're doing? Can't tell. Uh, all right, America. Woo. I bless this nation. Land of opportunity. <laughs> um, am I showing too much down there? Hold on. <clears throat> Stop looking at me. There we go. All right. Perfect. Excellent. Yes. Uh. Woo. Yes. Say it. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Ow. USA, look at our U.S. Army, baby. Look at our U.S. Army. America, baby. <clears throat> Woo! Okay, all right, all right. All right now. <clears throat> Yes, sir. Ow! USA, baby. USA. There we go. All right. <clears throat> USA. 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 <laughs> Pat said that was awesome. That was awesome. Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon. Oh, snap. Stephanie. Oh, she got a new theme. She got a remix. Oh, snap. What? Okay. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon, let's go. She's back, baby. Vince is gone. <laughs> and she's back. And he better not come back. <laughs> Yes, yes. Awesome. Woo! When I was about eight years old, I 
Oh, she still got her Connor's Cure bracelet. I don't know where my Connor's Cure bracelet. I think it might be in my little Marvel tin over there. I think it might be. Let me see. I'm going to go check. I wasn't in there. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Night two, baby. Our first match is. Is it Drew? Oh, it's Drew McIntyre? What? Oh, shoot. Oh, it's definitely Drew. It's definitely Drew, y'all. Yeah, yeah, Drew, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Where's his sword? Where's the sword? Where's the sword, Drew? Come. Does he not? He doesn't have his sword with him. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, Pat! Pat said, where's the swords? Yeah, man. Aw, oh, dang it. All right, we're going Team Drew. I'm going Team Drew. Look, we're, all right, let me start the poll, baby. Let me start the poll. Let's start the poll, baby. This is your time, Drew. It's your moment. All right, the poll is going live in three, two, one. Yeah! Let's go through. The poll has started, guys. Get your votes in right now. Who do you got? Who do you got? Oh, man. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam.
WrestleMania! Here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? WrestleMania, baby. WrestleMania. Yo, he looks like a Monster Hunter character. <laughs> He's been slaying some monsters. <laughs> Whoa. Got that light blue and white on, just like Jay last night, huh? <laughs> Look at Drew. Drew's like, what the hell is this? Okay. All right, come on now. <laughs> Drew's like, all right, let's get it on. playing around tonight. This is going to be a hell of a match. Hey, at least his match is early. That way he can rest to help Cody later tonight. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps, man. I'm getting goosebumps, bro. This this is the this might be the match of the night. I'm team Drew. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Drew.
freaking Rollins. <laughs> Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. Yo, let me tie up my shorts real quick because I got a feeling I might end up, you know, <laughs> revealing myself when I jump up in victory. Hold on, let me let me tie tie my shorts up real quick. Boom! Claymore, baby! Yeah! One, two, three! Ah! Yeah! Stay on top of him, Drew. Stay on top of him. Stay on top. Stay on top. Get him. Get him. Get him. Out of the ring and get him. There you go. Hunt him down. Hunt him down. Yeah. 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 Let's go, Drew. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Finish him. <laughs> God, Drew is so good. Stop the count. Get back out there. Work him. Yes. Woo. Yes. Yes. Come on. Future shock. Oh, countered. Oh, pedigree. Oh, oh, on the knee, on the knee. Oh, you're done, Seth. You're done. It's over. Drew, get up. Get up, Drew. Come on. No, stop. Kick out. Kick out. <laughs> Woo! Get him, Drew. There's blood in the water. Time to hunt. Oh, yeah. He's getting some height off of all these. That belly-to-belly -belly earlier. The, the reversal just now. Woo! Seth is crashing down hard. Big right. Mmm. Yeah. Let's go, Drew. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Chop him. Woo. Yeah. Get him, Drew. Ugh. Glasgow kiss. Mm, neck breaker. Let's go, True. Kick up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go, Drew.
Yes! Yes! Three, two, one! Oh! No! No! Yes, yes! Keep messing up your knees. Drew, counter! Counter! Oh, no! Kick out! Kick out! No! <laughs> oh, my God, come on. Come on, Drew. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Opening match, WrestleMania Sunday for the World Heavyweight Championship. Grimes and McIntyre. And it has been explosive since the start. Oh, my God, no. <coughs> Come on, Drew. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, fuck, man. Oh. Future shock. DDT. Let's go. One, two. Oh. Damn it. Damn it, man. Come on, Drew. Get back in there. You got this. Focus, focus. This is awesome. You're right. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Now, come on. Don't, don't forget punk. Forget punk. Focus on the match. Turn around. Oh, GTS. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. All right, good night. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Two! Three! Oh my God! No way! No way! Dude. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on, Drew. <laughs> Punk said. Punk said. Very frightening. Very frightening. Oh no, he's going to do a stomp on the table. Oh no. Drew, look out. He's going to set you up for a stomp. Oh, thank God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. 
no, 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 Drew, no, don't let this happen. Oh. Oh, come on, Drew. Come on. Yes, Claymore, let's go. Let's go. Dude. Come on. Come on, dude. Oh. Three Claymores and a future shot. Stomp. Another Claymore. That's it. One, two, three. Yeah! 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 Woo! Let's go. The WrestleMania moment. There we go. It was a short match, but hey, that's what happens when Seth fights the night before. Bro, you ain't going, ah, nah, nah. Dude, he hit him with how many Claymores and the Future Shock? The WrestleMania moment, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You deserved it. You earned it, Drew. That's right. Fuck yeah, man. Yes. Yes. Seth is probably tearing up because this is, this is, He's happy for Drew, man. This is what Drew... Oh, man, when when we were all locked up in our houses, man, Drew was our champion, man, in front of no one in the arena. Now, he finally gets it. All the hard work, being the young stallion that he was, not making it in WWE, going out, doing his own thing, coming back to WWE, winning the championship in front of... No one, then losing the title, then coming back to WrestleMania to earn the title in front of the WWE Universe. This is the moment he's been waiting for. Yes, Drew McIntyre, our new World Heavyweight Champion of the World. Is that his wife? Oh, shit. Wow. Fuck yeah, man. I'm happy. I'm so happy for him. Oh, man. That was awesome. Oh, man. We got 50 50 on Drew and Seth Rollins. I'm definitely going to end the poll ahead of time next time. Oh, snap. What is Drew doing? He's, he's like crawling on the table.
Yo, I'm... Ooh, I'm... This was getting a little uncomfortable there for a second. <laughs> Get the shot. I want this framed on my wall. Suck it! <laughs> yeah! Oh, man. Oh! I told you guys, Punk is not actually hurt. I told you earlier. <clears throat> I forgot what podcast I heard it on, but yeah, he he's not hurt. He was just wearing it to see the direction that WWE wanted to take him. Oh, this is fucked up, man. What? God, I've been taught. I was talking about that the entire pre-show. Oh my God, I forgot about Damien. Oh. That is a huge show. That has to be the hugest F U moment. We called it. Yeah, we called it. Yo, uh, Daniel Barry Sports Highlights Evening. He says, yo, dude, oh my God. We've been talking about Damian cashing in the entire pre-show. And when I got so distracted, I got caught up in the moment. I was like, oh, Drew won, finally, finally. And then what made it even worse, the Damian cash in, is that Drew we got all up in CM Punk's face. You know, like, it's my title. My title. It's all about me. P CM Punk pulls his leg. Drew's leg. Whoop. Scoops him. Drew crashes onto the table. Punk takes off the armband. Starts smacking the arm brace. Starts smacking him with it. And then the music. And it then clicked. Until I saw Damien running with the briefcase. 
I was like, wait, why is the Judgment Day coming out? Wait, is Drew down with the? I was like, is Drew down with the Judgment Day? And I completely forgot that we've been talking about Damian cashing in. And now Drew's not the champion anymore. Dude, he has his WrestleMania moment, gets the title, and then immediately loses his. Oh, my God. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, my. Oh, oh, that was. Oh, that was the hugest, the hugest F you moment to Drew McIntyre, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I, I have to go take care of something real quick. Oh, my God. We're starting the street fight now. Never mind. <laughs> Wow, dude, I completely forgot about Damien. Oh, congratulations to Damien Priest, dude. Wow. That was a hell of a moment right there. Hold on. I got to turn this down because I don't want to get copyrighted for Snoop Dogg. There we go. That was um. That was Oh man, we gotta start the next poll. We gotta start the next poll. Dang, that's crazy. Oh, man. I And I was like, dude, yeah, Damien Priest could crash it in. And I forgot. I got swept up in the moment. I completely forgot, dude. I can't. Uh, I was surprised. <laughs> I knew it was coming, but then I got surprised. That was good. Bubba Ray. Hey! All right, so we got Bobby Lashley and Street Profits. All right, Bobby. Damn, bro! I got I gotta rewind that back. After I'm after I'm done shooting, I gotta rewind that back because I did I my some my stomach sank. I was like, bro, did did that just happen, dude? That was amazing. I, I cannot believe that happened to Drew, dude. How how do you even show up for work tomorrow? <laughs> you know. Dude, oh my God! And, and Punk is not gonna let this go. Oh, he's just got. Oh, Drew can no longer troll the audience, man. That that has to be heartbreaking, bro. All right, here we go. The poll is uh, set up. I I really think Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits are are taking this. I'm take. Uh, I, I I got a feeling. Hulk Acom and Razor thing, Final Testament thing, that thing is going. Kieran Cross is going back to being a singles competitor. You know, focus on him and his wife. You know, they're going to be doing their thing. They're going to split this up. You know, this was, I think this was like a whole Vince project right here. And I, I don't like it. I, I think Razor and Acom are lame. Yeah, go. Echo, stop listening. Oh, man. Wait, what? Uh, his face when he lost the title. Dude, that, oh, that sucks, man. When CM Punk took the brace off, was like, yeah, the loss of the title. Oh, man. Whoo, that was, yo, that was the first match. Oh. 
That was great. That was uh, that was great. Yeah, it, now it makes sense because you remember what I said once. Once Drew won the title, I was like, that was a short match, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, I there was a reason why that match was so short. I wow, man. That was their plan because they knew they was going to have that that moment after Drew won the title. That's why. So looking back at the match, the match was, it was, it was okay. It was a lot of f finishers, you know, it was a lot of claymores and whatnot. But um, it was short. It was short. But there was a reason for it being so short. I was just happy that Drew won. <sighs> but then, <laughs> man, he got he got his WrestleMania moment ripped from him. Well, you can never say that he didn't win at in front of an audience. Hey, there we go. All right, let me turn this back up. Oh my God, I can't believe that. Oh man, I oh. This is the perfect spot. I know Triple H last night, he said he doesn't really think about, you know, oh, should I have the women come out and wrestle first and then the men or, you know, who should be, you know, main event or whatever. But I really think this is the perfect match to, you know, like get everybody to wind down a little bit. You know, after that, hell of a screw drop. <laughs> Hey man, is it really a screw job? I mean, that them's the rules for the briefcase. You know, you can cash in at any time. It, it's it sucks that it happened, but eh, eh, what are you gonna do about it? You can cash in at any time, bro. Damn, I can't believe that. Oh, I think I nearly went lightheaded after that too. Whoo! Bump, bump, bump. Well, I'm going to Street Profits. Bobby Lashley and Street Profits. I, if Karrion Cross had two other different people, maybe, uh, that I like. But I like Bobby Lashley over the Street Profits. Street Profits, they're, they're good. I like them. But I like Bobby Lashley more. So I'm going Bobby Lashley. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's crazy. I can't believe <laughs> Bubba Ray Dudley is the ref. That's awesome. Look at, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> he said ding, ding, ding. <laughs> All right, let me turn it up. Let me turn it up. Oh, they got different... Advertisements, gin and juice by Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Wait, they got a new album? Yo, could we get, just like with Call of Duty, could we get Snoop Dogg as a commentator for WA 2K24? I would buy that DLC. I would gladly buy the, the Snoop pack, the Snoop commentary. Come on, Bobby. Mm. <laughs> no rules. <laughs> oh, yeah, they put this back on my wall. Woo, man. Dang, bro. Oh, man. Ooh! On the chair. 
back of his head. Damn, they were. Hey, 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 they were on him. Oh, oh, hey. Dang, man, they. Oh, shit. Damn, they went in with them kendo sticks. They're gonna do the collider thing. <laughs> Your Snoop said, "Oh Lord, a double decker." <laughs> Yo. Oh shit! Yo, I love Snoop, bro. Uh oh, B Fab. Oh, Scarlet with the trash can over the head. Watch out! Oh, she landed on the chair. Oh, hey, this match is actually pretty good so far. This is it's pretty good so far. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Belly, belly, beautiful belly, belly. Mm. Shoulder tackle, double shoulder tackle. Oh, Montez out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Great camera angle. <laughs> yeah, you can say it. It's a pay-per-view event, bro. Let's go in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Get up. Got to get this work. Uh-oh. <laughs> he said she from the hood. <laughs> Yo, can we have Snoop on commentary for the rest of the night, bro? <laughs> oh. Great. Oh. Two. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, he know how to count to three, all right. 3D. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. He's putting the specs on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, spear. Yo, can we get a 3D? Montez, get the tables. Come on. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Well, further apart, baby. Here we go. Old school, baby. Oh. What's up? Let's go. Oh. Oh. Let's go. 
Yeah! Go on, give us a, get the tables. Bobby! Montez! Dawkins! Get the tables! Let's go! Oh, shit. <coughs> tables, tables, tables. Yo, this crowd is lit, bro. Oh, my God. This, this match is so good, man. Oh. That's a, fan, that's a family reunion table. That one gonna learn. Yo, Snoop is on fire, bro. Yo, all right, I'm ending the poll now, guys. I'm ending the poll now, dude. This match is over. Yo, I broke the table. Get another table, man. Get another table. Oh, my God. Yeah. Get another one. And another one. Oh, my God. 100% Bobby Lashley and Street Profits. What's the vote? Woo! Woo! Yeah! Get him. <laughs> Bobby laughing. He's like, he going what? He going in. Put him on the table. Yeah! How crazy if that table would have broke too, man. Frog splash! Woo! One, two, three! That was a good match. Oh my god. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yo, we had Snoop Dogg on commentary. Bubba as the referee. Dude, <laughs> got a little bit of old school. Oh my god, man. And that was hard hitting with them whippers and mm, Man. That was awesome. On, mostly cuz of Kyrian, Street Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. Akam and Razor are boring. Like I said, I got I got I got to go take care of something. Like I said, Kyrian deserves better. Kyrian and Scarlet deserve better, man. They deserve better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
with the rule of cases, 87, subsection B, paragraph 4. Come on! What a bloodline rule. Bloodline rules tailor anything that are determined by the tribal chief, the final boss, and the wise man to be bloodline rules. No disqualification, no count out, one false, one absolutely positively declarative finish. Until one man is announced as the undefeated universal heavyweight champion and the other man goes home to his wife's brandy. Tonight, Kayla, live in Philadelphia, Roman Reigns and Bloodline Ruth. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is Cody Rhodes' final chance to finish the story. Hold on, guys. I gotta, I gotta run to the bathroom real quick. We got a new Despicable Me. We got a new Despicable. Oh. We'll run to the bathroom real quick. Thank you. 
determine America's favorite boneless wings. Applebee's won. How about that? We don't even have wing in our name. But they're now for just 50 cents. Oh, yeah. Here's one thing we can all agree on. Having more choices beats having less choices. That's why we make a range of Ford F-150 pickups for any job. Whether that job we is... Wheatley's so good, I drink it neatly. My God, man. Oh, man. This smart can only be called F-150. Nothing scary about Energizer Ultimate Lithium. The number one longest lasting double A battery. All right. Woo, man. Oh, wow. Dude, dude, dude. That was awesome, man. A night. Oh, snap. Where my remote? Yeah. Where my remote? Where'd I put it? Oh, over here. Woo. All right. Oh. All right. Let me start. Start the poll. Start the poll here, guys. Wow. Wow. White Games fan section. All right, new poll has started. Who's going to win? Yeah. AJ Styles or LA Knight? Cast your votes right now. Cast your votes right now. Oh, man. Woo. Boom. L.A. Knight. I got what I wanted. I got the AJ I wanted. I was asking for this in the pre-show. LA Knight might actually lose. This is... I think AJ might win.
promotions over the years, but this is the first time they've had a rivalry like this. Friday night was very first WrestleMania match. Yeah. 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 So much here in Philly. Look what we've done yet. Yeah. Oh, snap. so special the statistics like the fact that AJ Styles is a two-time WWE champion LA Knight won a slam for breakout star of the year also the fan champ of the year you won fan champ of the year LA Knight has had arguably the best calendar year of most of the WWE superstars but AJ Styles was able to weather the early storm Setting him up for the calf crusher. Jim cars and tornado DDTs. LA Knight looking frustrated at the moment. And this could make all the difference. AJ Styles, if you know anything about AJ Styles, he, he has the Georgia Bulldog mentality. Styles is one of the most tenacious superstars WWE has ever seen. LA Knight, in my opinion, giving AJ a little too much credit. Woo! Superplex. Supposed to be here, LA Knight. So is AJ Styles. Rips underneath. Knight does not want to be up there. Ooh. Styles with a top turnbuckle. Styles with a German suplex does not release. Mmm. Bulldog 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? He's biting him. <laughs> oh, the rake goodbye. Whoa. Oh my god. One, two. Oh. Man. AJ sold that well, man. Goodness gracious. Calf Crusher. That sh that feels like a Charlie horse. Oh God. Oh. Oh. Damn. Exposing the knee. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna drop. He's gonna drop kick. Uh oh. Woo. Oh my god, if he figure fours off it, oh my god. Man, they got a lot of advertisements tonight, man. These these days, man. Yeah. Yeah, advertisement for every freaking match. Or a sponsor. Every single uh Single match. Oh, what type of flooring is that? What what the hell type of flooring is that? It's like some interesting tiles. It, had, it looks like it had ridges and stuff to it too. That's gonna suck falling on that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's like like plastic ridges. That shit's going to sting. Oh. 
Phenomenal forearm. Oh, 450. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Two, Styles Clash. Perfect transition. Oh, good counter. Good counter. Oh, good, good counter, LA. He had to be quick. Oh. Oh, this is it. This is it. And in the poll now. Blunt force trauma. Yeah. Good match. That was solid. That was a solid match. All right, what are our results here? Let's see. LA Knight, 66%. AJ Styles, 33%. Nice. Oh, is that a Nissan GTR? Ooh. That's a Skyline? So that lady won a Skyline? Oh. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Damn. Nice. Good match. That was a good match. Good. That was a damn good match.
some stuff out. Oh, what? I don't get... Bro! I don't get the freaking Hall of Fame because I got the peacock with the ads? Are you joking? That's messed up. I don't get to watch everybody come out? Oh, that's bull, man. That's messed up. That's crazy, dude. Too bad I didn't get to see the other entrances. God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Very nice. <laughs> Woo! Damn, that blue dress looks stunning. Wow. Yeah! Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Hey! Woo! Oh, man. Yeah!
ECW, 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 ECW. Yeah. I <laughs> walk it out there with the championship belt. Hell oh, yeah. Wow. Damn, that arena looks so nice, man. That's sweet. We on another commercial break, aren't we? <laughs> All right. WWE advertisement. My favorite commercial, the Miz commercial. Maybe you need a sick people. Maybe you. Maybe you. Flavor, flavor. Maybe you. Maybe you need a sick 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 Sorry guys, I'm taking care of like house duties right now. I I apologize.
of years in the pen. Mm -hmm. But Native American, okay? Oh man, there we go. Ooh, I'm done. Okay. Oh, just had to do something real quick. We're going from zero to sixty in under four seconds. Talk this smart can only be called F one fifty. Oh man. Man, how's WrestleMania so far, guys? I'm liking it. I'm definitely digging it. It's a good one tonight. Whew. Put my feet up. I didn't think I needed stairs until I saw how easily it picks up my hair every time I dry it. It only takes a minute. Look at that. The heavy duty clocks are extra thick for amazing tracking on, even for his hair. Wow. This is why I don't mind the ads on Disney because whenever ads pop up, I'm just like, oh. Oh, I'll just mess around on my phone real quick. Boop, here we go. All right. Woo! See, this is exactly what I was talking about. Didn't I say all the ads in America is mostly like pills and and food? The same stuff over and over again, man. And look what's happening. These guys are eating spaghetti, too. They're talking about Cabanuva, and they're eating spaghetti. <laughs> Hey yo! Hey yo! Yes, sir! That's our champion, baby! If you're on YouTube or any streaming service, like Twitch or something, represent! <laughs> represent! Woo! Yes, sir! Mmm! Wow, Logan Paul, 20 calories, y'all, 20 calories. Total fat, zero. Sodium, 20 milligrams, wow. Total carbohydrates, five. Total sugars, one, one gram. Protein, zero. 700 milligrams, potassium. Vitamin A, 270. This is beautiful, man. Beautiful prime baby represent. There we go. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ah. I feel hydrated. I feel hydrated. Let me change up the thumbnail. There we go. You're watching YouTube, guys. Represent. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm going to start the next poll here.
went to Walmart the other day, literally at the front of the store, huge end cap of Prime. Huge. It sells, man. It sells. This bottle, specifically the Cherry Freeze, when it's cold and it's full, top layer turns blue. Like those rocket uh, ICs that we used to get, the little uh, the pop rockets. Yeah, kind of like that. It's pretty cool, right? Reusable, too. Yeah, fully reusable. You use these. Take these to the gym, fill it up with some water. Prime, baby. Hey, look at Sammy. Your turn now. Your turn now. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be an interesting poll, guys. I didn't say poll. I said poll. <laughs> We got three options this time. Yeah! <laughs> Poll is starting right now. Cast your votes. Cast your votes right now. Cast your votes, guys. Who you think is going to win? Tonight's match. Hey! You got a golf cart. in my head they come to me they understand they talk to me is KO going back there to pick him up like whoa you gonna run me over get in just like yesterday <laughs> he said, he's like, all right, all right, slow it down a little bit. <laughs> Woo! Randy! Orton! Oh, man. All right, here we go. Let's get ready for one hell of a match, guys. This is going to be a good one. Hey, Arnold! Sinners and thieves just take the greed. All right. Come on. Kevin's going to win, says King Ghost Wolf. All right, well, we shall see. I'm going Logan Paul. Smart move, smart move. Smart move. Hey, 
Anytime I see Logan, I always think of the the villain, face the villain from Karate Kid. <laughs> but he's the actual Karate Kid, man. Can't believe the Karate Kid lost in the in the in the original Karate Kid movie. He is literally the Karate Kid. Some kid just cause he waxes off and waxes off. Waxes on and waxes off. He could beat the karate kid? Come on! Bull! The karate kid got robbed! Got crane kicked! Bull! That was in a, a regular karate move. BS, man. There we go. Oh. Oh, man. Ah, oh, come on, man. It's a triple threat match, guys. Come on, man. There we go. There we go. Yup, only one of you can win. Yes! <laughs> Never trust a viper. <laughs> <laughs> now it gets interesting. Yes, here we go. Thank you, man. All right, now that the antics are done with, now we can actually get into the match. <laughs> pushing him, pushing him, his head into the prime apron, and said, "Drink prime." Woo! Nice stinger splash. No. Super kick. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Cannonball. All right, Kevin's getting a little excessive with the suck it. Okay. It's starting to become a little comedic. Swan Tom countered. Beautiful. Get Randy out first. Oh, you should have missile drop kicked Randy out of the ring. 
or a baseball slide in him out of the ring. Swan Tom. Oh, and a frog splash. Swan Tom, the frog splash. That was unique. That was that was pretty dope. Swan Tom to Frog Splash. That was that was pretty dope. Yeah, let's see this again. Swan Tom. Boom. Immediately into the Frog Splash. That was that was really innovative. Vintage Randy Duck. Yup. Scoop. Boom. Vintage Randy Orton right there. Where's the pole sitting at right now? No way. No way. Wow. Oh. to the scoop. Ooh. Oh, no. It's going to go for two. Yeah. Yeah. Get it, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. Let's go. Mm. He's going for Logan. Uh oh, uh oh, who, who you gonna go for first? Who you gonna go for first? Counter super kick, it's another super kick. Oh my god, what? Yeah, Centon Cobra, yeah. So that's officially what we're calling that, the, the code breaker. Okay. hand uh oh logan go oh wait reverse oh what was that ko oh moonsault one two Ooh. wow that was crazy Kevin Owens, that's around 260, 275 pounds. Crashing 
Damn. Roll up. Is he going to drink? He's going to the hydration station. <laughs> Logan's going to the prime. RKO out of nowhere. Ooh. Oh, my God. I, I got a feeling Logan's about to use the prime in this match right now. Did he? He's about to spit in his face, maybe? Oh, no, he got the brass knucks. He got the brass knucks. Oh my God. One, two. The brass knucks didn't work. with the brass knucks oh it's over man it's over it's over i'm ending the poll now guys that's it oh RKO! no no way Logan, roll out of the ring. Roll out of the ring. Somebody's... Oh, no. Oh, the prime mascot is going to save him, isn't it? Gave it to the ref. He doesn't need it. Oh. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. We haven't seen this in a minute. The punt kick. Yeah. Yeah, prime, baby. Yeah. Saving the day. Oh, yeah. Speed? What? What? Speed. He's barking. <laughs> Randy's like, what the? F what the? F oh. oh. Oh, no, speed. Oh no, speed. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Bro, you better run. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at speed, bro. Look at him. How old is speed? He's a minor, right? <laughs> that was great. 
Randy went ur, 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 like like a freaking uh, like a freaking seal. <laughs> You're supposed to bark, man. Oh, pump a power bomb. Oh, stunner. Oh, KO and Sammy could own titles. Oh my God, this could be happening. Oh my God. Yo, speed is. Is he? <coughs> oh no, he, he no he, he. Nah, he could he could take a bump. <laughs> He's seventeen. He's of illegal age to to get beat up in the WWE. <laughs> Oh man. Pump up power bomb. RKO shoot. Oh. Oh no. Oh the counter. Holy spit. Multiple counters. Oh. Logan. Logan. Frog splash. Oh my god, the height. One. Two, three, drink prime, baby! <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> oh, snap! Oh, snap! Yes! <laughs> mm. Yo, that has to be the highest frog splash I've ever seen, dude. The height he got on that. Can we see a replay? That was a super frog splash. Man. That was awesome. Good finish, man. Woo. Boom. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Man, Randy almost. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at that height, that extension. My God, precision. Man, that's crazy. A kid who was on what vine split in around the world, doing splits around the world. Damn, this, whoo. Man, he's something else, man. This kid is something else. I say kid because he's younger than me. <laughs> he, is, he, is, he is something else. Wow. I, that ain't me just because he's a YouTube content creator. Logan Paul is fucking, oh, excuse my, pardon my French. He is, he is impressive as hell, dude. He is impressive. Give that man his flowers. That was awesome. Let me check the poll here. Uh, what we got here? Wow, it was a split decision. Uh, King Ghost Wolf says, such crap. He needed help to win. It's the business. I mean... <laughs> Don't get mad. Don't get mad at him. Get mad at the business, man. That's, that's the way it is. Why you think Roman wins a lot of his matches, man? You know, it happens. Cheating. Cheating. It happens, man. Lex Lewis says trash. It's the business, man.
Mm. Make me something to eat. He said, whatever, D. Make me something to eat. Warm up the oven. Oh. This is why I bought from Dollar Tree. Get the new iPhone 15 with tons of storage. So I'm gonna be trying out. Trade in any iPhone in any condition and get iPhone 15 Pro on us. That. Bought this from Dollar Tree. This is what I'm gonna be trying. Bailey. Okay, that's the next match. Bailey and Eo. Oh. Man, I feel like tonight is going by pretty fast. I love Bailey's outfit. I hope Bailey wins this, but uh Here's one of those matches where I'm like, I hope Bailey wins, but 
I really think EO Sky is going to win. But I'm rooting for Bailey. I'm going to start the poll here. I hope Bailey wins. Come on, man. Come on. Forgot to start the poll. Here we go. There we go. All right. The new poll is up, guys. Cast your votes right now on who you want to win. Man, come on, Bailey. Come on, please. All right. Ugh. Dude, her ring gear, her ring attire is awesome. Bailey is from the Bay Area. In one of the neighborhoods of San Jose, there is a Kitchen Park. It doesn't seem to fit, but it's just there. I've been there personally. I'm guessing that's what that ball is. Bam, bam, bam. Well, I like EO, but ah, uh, I really, I really want Bailey to win this, man. She got her own entourage. Oh, damage control. <laughs> oh God, no! They're coming to the ring. Oh, dude. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, no. I don't see them. Okay. They're not coming to the ring. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Okay. All right. We got a clean fight. Damn, that outfit is fire too, man. Whoo, boy. Oh, I like the the touch up she got on the side, Bailey. Whoo, come on, Bailey, man. Come on, man. Yes, sir. Come on, Bailey.
Come on, Bailey. Come on. You got this. Ooh, damn. Eo stuck her just now. Oh, oh, her leg tweaking a little bit there. Yeah. Tweaking a leg. Oh, she's walking gingerly. Baseball slide kick. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Oh, boy. Man, Bailey's taking a lot of damage, man. I'm saying, man, EO is looking fresh. Yeah, EO looked like the match just started. Champions advantage tonight. Crunch middle over 
somebody else. It was difficult to do that, I will admit it. Cheering on his dang anus. They were the heel side of Bob Taylor. Oh! Oh, nice running knee. There we go. Two, three, four. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> awesome that was awesome nice move by EO Another off the top rope, knees to the back. Dude, oh, Woo. Roll up. Oh, one, two. Oh, that was a close one. Damn, I need to put my food in the oven. Ugh. Okay. Come on, Bailey. Come on, Bailey. Come on, 
Bailey. Oh, she missed. No. One, two. Another cross face. Come on, Bailey. Come on. Oh, oh my God. Wow. STF. Bailey, Bailey. Wow. 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 Same thing that happened to Jay, man. Same thing that happened to Jay, bro. Oh. Yeah, Bailey. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Catch her, Bailey. Catch her. Catch her. Oh, dang. One, two. Yes. Yes. Bailey, 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 Bailey. Oh my gosh, she's going for another one. Oh. Yes. Rose plant. She countered. EO just countered. Oh. What? Wow. Wow. Bailey, 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 Bailey. Mm. Oh, shit. Elbow drop. Elbow drop. Oh, yeah. Rose plant. Oh. End in the poll now, guys. Two, three. Excellent. Good job, Bailey. 100% of the votes was towards Bailey. Excellent, dude. Oh. Good match. Good match. Against all odds. <laughs> she did it.
Oh, man. And hopefully damage control doesn't come out there and attack her. Damn. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good stuff. That was a decent match, man. Looked like EO was just dominating from the get-go, man. EO was looking fresh, man. That counter on a rose plant was pretty, pretty cool. Look at that elbow drop. Ooh. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I noticed too, man? You remember how ah King Ghost was says, hell yeah. That was a good one, says Lex Lewis. You know what? You know what? Remember what I said about you know how some people just watch wrestling so much that you know it it it, it doesn't seem like it excites them anymore. Like you look at their expressions and stuff like that. You remember I was talking about that before. Like the the guys that you see that go to every Raw and SmackDown up front, you see them right there. You always see them right. Those guys, man, they've been coming to every single one of these WWE events. And you never see them, like, be super enthusiastic anymore, you know? You never see them. You, just look at their reactions compared to the people in the back area and whatnot. People are getting hyped. They go, whoa. Ah, ah. Those guys are just like. I think, I think. They've seen so much wrestling that they're just like, they don't have the excitement anymore for when they see these wrestlers do amazing things in the ring. Yeah. That's why I like the shot after the match. It goes towards the crowd, and you see people like, whoa, barely won, because, you know, those people are, they're not spoiled by seeing wrestling live 24 7 so they're there they're in the moment they're like whoa I, oh, this is exciting but those guys up there are just stone face i don't know that's just something i see Ugh. when you when you do something so much it can become repetitive you start to lose the excitement you you lose the fulfillment the enjoyment of seeing things like that so
Sometimes you just won't be better than the absolute best. said that's where the story has to end. I think all I really can say is I'm not done. The story is unfinished, but a lot of good stories have a lot of pages. See, I told y'all. I told y'all that was the stipulation in the pre-show. I don't know. My food is almost ready. I'm going to be able to watch a phenomenal match here at the end. Let's go, baby.
You guys ready? Here we go. Cody! I'm gonna grab my food. Volume down to twenty percent. Volume up to 70%. Here we go, guys. Got my jalapeno poppers. Got my pizza minis. I'm ready, baby. Ready for the main event. Oh, just in time, baby. Need a napkin. Oh, I got one right here. Oh, shit. Woo. All right, I'm gonna start the poll. Get ready. The poll, not the last poll of the night. We're gonna do a poll of uh, what you think of WrestleMania all together. Here it goes. Will, will Cody finish the story? Or will Roman? Ha ha ha.
go. There's the poll, guys. It's live. It's live. Oh, man. I need to swap this out. I need a cold one. We need a cold one. We need a we need a prime that's that looks like a championship belt. That's right. That's right. We need a prime bottle that looks like a championship belt. The UFC 300. Mmm. It's starting now, Pat. It's starting now. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's bro. Well, we already know Damien's not cashing in on Roman in, in this match. If you missed earlier, <laughs> Damien is our new WWE heavyweight champion. Acknowledge him. The one. Oh, man. Here we go. Now, he cashed in on the first match. with Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. No disqualifications, no count outs. Wow. Holy. <laughs> Corey's the, I mean, uh, Pat was the only one in that camera shot. You know, this turned out nice. This was actually pretty good. Mm. <laughs>
Well, he finished the story, guys. Let me see where you guys are at. Where your votes. Mmm. Okay. Interesting. boy these poppers are a little, a little, a little spicy a little bit a little spicy oh my god look there's this stormtrooper uh cody rhodes helmet i like that Here it comes. It begins, guys. Pat Sando says 265 Roman Reign. I think we got a full hour for this. Yeah, I think, yeah, we got a full hour. This might go an hour. Or at least like 50 minutes. Yeah, 265 is weight. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Hell yeah. Get your votes in, guys. Don't forget to vote. Who you think is going to win tonight? Wow, we're getting tables? What? 
We're getting tables already? Well, I feel spoiled. Is it Christmas? Oh my God. Oh, with the drive-by. Oh man. Oh, dude. Oh. Ryan to his still steps. <laughs> Pat. Oh, yeah. Get him, Cody. Get him. Oh, he missed. Damn. Oh. You know Roman's gonna have his run, but he's gonna beat the hell out of you. And I think we're in the middle of one of those right now. Roman's team all over his nearly four-year title run. It is about laying down your opponent. And the thought of the case is that Roman Reigns is truly popular. A style on the itself. Oh, the hydration station. <laughs> I made that guy flinch. Oh, that's great. Oh. <laughs> he said, scoop back. 
No way. Oh. What are they standing on? Is that a, like a table? What is this? It's not a table. Oh. type of block or something to hold the scaffold uh, the the tower like some type of scaffold contra contraption thing keep the towers from from moving is that <clears throat> yeah because the ring it has is elevated right the the um the roof that's that's what that is like some type of block or something to keep the the roof from moving lock it in place <clears throat> yeah that's what the, that's what it looks like <laughs> the Cody Big Head right there. I like that. Man, come on, Cody. God dang, man. Let's go, bro. Uh. <laughs> oh, Pat. Damn, Cody, come on, man. Where's the intensity? Come on, man. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, they throwing up the ones, but they uh, they doing it with a different finger. <laughs> Yo, the crowd is on fire tonight, man. Super kick. Ah, another super kick. Come on, Cody. Dang. Both men down. Close line. Come on, Cody. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. There we go, Cody. Yeah. There we go. Let's go, Cody. Let's go. Oh, disaster kick. Ah. All right. That's a good flurry right there. Come on, you got this. The cutter? Nope. Crossroads. What? Oh my God! He pulled the crossroads on Cody. He said that move sucks. Roman said that move sucks. Oh man. Yeah. Oh. Roman said, uh, King Ghostwell said, Roman said, this is this, this my company, you little biatch. Yep. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, Cody. Going for the Superman punch. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Countered. Boom. Shake. Rattle. And roll, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Uh. Bionic elbow. Let's go. Where'd Roman go? Oh. Dude. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Release the hounds. Release the hounds. Uh oh.
There's no way. There's no way. Roman's going to reverse this. Ooh, low blow. Low blow. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Shades of the shield. Oh. Superman punch. Oh. One, two. Oh, man. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, man. Cody, 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 Cody. Damn, that arena is nice. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what time it's for. Ooh. It's time for. Cody hit him with a spear. Two. Oh. Oh, that was a beautiful spear. Crossroads. Oh, one. Going for the second cross. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, it's time. It's time. The interference is, is going to happen now. Jay. 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 Come on. Jay. 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 Yeet. 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 Come on. Oh, my God. Another Superman punch. Yeah. Yeah, yeet, let's go. Get him, get him, Jay, get him, Jay. The two brothers going at it, let's go. Get him, oh, uh, 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 yeet. Oh, yeet. Oh, oh the spear. <gasps> Oh, one, two. Oh, spear. Oh, shit. One, two. Oh. oh. Jay just speared Jimmy off the ramp onto the tables. That was amazing. What a spot out of nowhere.
All right, I'm gonna end the poll now, guys. Get 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 your votes in while you still can. I feel like we got like 20, 25 more minutes. Ugh. Uh oh, we got a barrier spot. We got a barrier. Ooh. Oh, spear! Cody with the spear through the barrier. Crossroads. Why does Cody always have this surprised look on his face when he's going for the crossroads? Oh, the third one. The third one. The third one. Oh, solo Samoan spike. Oh, man. Oh, man. Seth, 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 Cody, kick out. Seth. Oh my God. Come on, where's Seth? Solo is yelling at Roman. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Ooh, ah. Spear. That's it. One, two. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. John Cena. He got solo. Hey, on to the table. Oh. Oh, shoot. The final boss. I knew it. Oh, this is. Oh, shh. Oh, shit. This is what The Rock meant last night when he said. It's not over. They're building another mountain to climb. Oh, shoot. 
Brock and Cena again. Ooh. <laughs> Holy spit. Oh, shit. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, oh, oh, let's go. You can't see me. Oh, rock bottom. Oh. Oh, shoot. Uh oh, he's going to whip Cena with the belt. The shield. Wait, no, wait, wait, what, what? What the fuck? What the fuck? No. No way, no way, no way, no way. No, there's no way. Oh, it's Seth. Seth was in the ring with a chair. Oh my God, they played the shield music. Oh, I thought I thought John Moxley was coming back there too. I thought it was gonna be John and Seth. Seth is wearing the shield gear. He's about to screw another member of the family with a chair shot. <gasps> the Undertaker! Oh! Oh my God, no way. No, oh! The true final boss. Holy shit. Jokes. Damn! Yeah, the real final boss, baby! The real final boss! Woo! Oh, sh... A chair and a belt <laughs> is left in the ring with Roman and Cody Rhodes. What a fucking, uh, excuse my language, what a fucking moment. Oh man. Come on Cody, turn around. Roman's gonna hit Seth. Oh, payback. Payback for the chair shot. Ooh, ah. Counter. Crossroads. Ah, uh, one. There's no one else to interfere. There's no one else to interfere. Two. This is it, guys. This is it. This is it, Cody's moment. This is the moment. This is the moment. Three. That's it. One, two, three. Oh!
He finished the story. Cody Rhodes has finished the story. Oh, wow. Now he can bring the title to his dad. He could go to where Dusty Rhodes lays and say, Dad, I did it. Damn, dude. What a moment. Oh, fuck, wow. That's awesome. And your new champion, your new undisputed champion. Oh, man. Woo. Oh, what a moment, dude. Oh, this is, this is why I love wrestling, man, for moments like this. Oh, man. Oh. John Cena came back. But, man, I was not expecting the Undertaker. L.A. Knight's in the ring. Randy Orton's in the ring. Sami Zayn's in the ring. Oh, who I didn't expect the Undertaker and Cena, man, the real final boss, the true final boss, the Undertaker, mm, choke slam to the Rock. Oh, that was beautiful. Mm, the third crossroads, Cody covers one, two, three. <clears throat> and in the poll right now, dude. Look at <laughs> look at that crowd, dude. Ah, oh, one hundred percent of the votes went for Cody. Oh man, Jay's in the ring, KO's in the ring. Oh my God, the rain is over. Holy spit, man. Oh man. Oh, dude, I cannot wait to see the press conference after this, man. Oh, my God. What a moment. LA Knight is looking at Cody like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy. Randy's po uh, pointing at the tattoo dream. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man. Dude, what a moment. Oh, Sam Punk's in the ring. <laughs> ah, shoot. Brandy Rhodes is in the ring. Oh, man. Who else coming out? Jesus Christ. Mama Rhodes in the ring. Hey, man. Wow. He did it. He handed the title to his mama. Let's go. Wow. Oh, is he going to talk? He's going to talk. Wow. Damn, look at all the <laughs> look at all the men tearing up out there. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, man. I love being a wrestling fan, man. Oh, my God. We get too into this. <laughs> Whew. 
Holy spit, man. It's just, it's just, it's just drama, man. And we are into it. This is my type of soap opera. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. This is a moment. Bruce Pritchard, okay. Triple H. Oh man. Woo. <laughs> oh man, what a moment. Holy spit. Oh man. <laughs> Dare I say Triple H and Cody Rhodes, man? Uh <sighs> Cody and his pull in AEW. Oh, man. I want to... Uh, I hope later down the road we see some cross promotions just like what AEW did with New Japan. Man, I hope, man. Oh, Bucks. Young Bucks versus Usos. New Day. Oh, my God. Oh my god, the talent over there, dude. Oh, I that'd be a dream come true. Oh man, this this is the era of anything, possibilities. The doors are open. And they're going to be pushing NXT even more, baby. Oh my god. Oh, I'm 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 so happy to be a part of the Triple H era, man. The Paul Levesque era, man. I don't know what's to come. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, this is a new era of wrestling, man. Wow. That means I have to play <laughs> tomorrow night. Oh, crap. I'm going to be facing Roman again on Legendary Difficulty, this time for the title. And I'm not playing around like I was before. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish the story in 2K. I'm doing it. I ain't going. We're not hitting spots. I'm just going out there for pure destruction. I'm taking Roman down. I'm getting that title. We're doing it. Stay tuned for the stream of WWE 2K24. Man. <laughs> John Cena ducked under the camera. Smooth. Smooth. Damn. Seth lost his title. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I bet he feels good, man. Feels good. He helped stop the bloodline. Yeah. The handshake. Seth and Cody. 
God damn. That's a powerful handshake right there. Holy spit. There we go. There. He's wearing the title the way you're supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. Look at him. Yeah, Cody. That's a champion right there. Wearing the damn title. Whoa. Let's go. Oh, it looks good on him. Oh, yeah, baby. You look good with the title on. Woo. Man, I, I think some people are just like, I, they're, they're, they're like taking it in right now. The, the Cody just beat Roman Reigns <laughs> for the championship. Like, wow. That is crazy. And look at that, man. You, you would think that people would just be leaving, trying to avoid traffic. No, man. Look at all these people just staying there to be in the moment. Cody Rhodes defeated the long reigning Roman Reigns, man. Wow. Pro wrestling is cool. <laughs> yeah, raise it up, man. Raise it up. What a wrestle, man, guys. We gotta do it. We gotta do one more poll. Let's do one more poll. Let's do one more poll. Wow, dude. That was amazing, bro. King Ghost was said, hell yes. Or hell yeah. Lex Lewis says, hell yeah. Oh, hell yes, man. Oh. Pat Santos said that was good. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. Yeah, Lex Lewis said that, that, that was awesome, dude. It was awesome. Dude, oh, man. Night two was even better than night one. Oh, a new poll dropping right now. Oh, dude. I, I'm so happy, dude. Oh. Oh, man. Wow, man. I can't. Dude. <laughs> Drew won the title and then lost it. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. We got three options here. We got we got three options dropping right now. What did you think of WrestleMania 40? It was awesome. It was okay. It was meh. Those are your options. Those are your options. Oh, wow. That, that was awesome, dude. That was awesome, dude. Oh, wow. Wow, man. Oh, man. Uh, I like this night better than night one that was a moment man Bailey yup oh man so many good matches man the street fight was the the one match that was like oh man this might not be a good match but it was actually really good man uh, 
It was actually really good. From the from everything Karen Cross did, <laughs> the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley did, and the ladies did. They did. All, they all did great. Aikman and Razor need to go. That faction need to go. <laughs> they got to get out of here. No, out. <laughs> Everything else was awesome. Everything else was awesome. Oh, man. Cena showing up. And I, I, I was like, before I could even finish my sentence, The Rock comes out. But then. Oh. The Undertaker with another WrestleMania moment ending the final boss in that ring. <laughs> the true final boss. It's, it's, like, it's like the secret level <laughs> in the game. You fought the final boss, but you had to uh, finish the game with all lives, uh, you had to have a combo score of over 100k, and then you get the secret level against the true final boss, <laughs> which is the Undertaker. That was awesome. I loved it, man. I loved it. Night Night Two is definitely, in my opinion, better than Night One. Oh, it was so good. So I'm uh hopefully there's a press conference or something here coming up. Um. Yeah, I hope. I hope. Let me see. Let me see if Peacock, because usually they tell you if uh, a press event is coming up. Oh, man, what is what? What's Roman gonna say, man? Like, are we are we gonna even hear from him? Like, does he have anything to say, bro? Like, no, nah, it's not saying anything. Stand and deliver NXT stand and deliver replay. No, uh, no, nah, I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Damn, that was awesome. That was awesome. What 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 was the uh, the votes? What do we have? One hundred percent said it was awesome. There we go, man. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a banger of a WrestleMania. I'm going to do like what I did the other day. I'm going to watch some of the people I'm subscribed to that's in the know of wrestling, see what their thoughts and opinions is. I thought it was awesome. I also thought night one was awesome, but there's a lot of mixed opinions um, out there. Thoughts on night one, you know, especially with the Gunther and Sami Zayn match. So I'm interested in seeing what everybody's thoughts were uh, for night two. As far as my community goes over here, it looks like you guys... 100% of the votes said it was awesome. Uh, maybe, maybe I don't, I don't know. Maybe my reactions was just, uh, maybe you enjoy my reactions, uh, watching this, you watching it along with me. Like, it, maybe it just made WrestleMania better. But um, I enjoyed the hell out of it, man. I really did. It's a new era, the Paul Triple H Levesque era. We got Stephanie McMahon back. Hell yes. The Rock, Paul Heyman, behind the scenes, Bruce Pritchett. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be an amazing new era for WWE. I am I am looking forward to what's to come. I really hope they open up the doors. And I, oh, man, fuck, man. I really, I really want to see some cross promotions here, man. You can start off with New Japan. That's totally fine. You already got some stroke over there in New Japan. Come on, man. I want to see Kota Ibushi come back. You know, this time I want to see him like, actually wrestle on the main roster. That that would be awesome. I want to see guys like Kenny Omega and Young Bucks, MJF. I Swerve could come back, bro. Like Samoa Joe. Like they're, they're, It's with Hunter, excuse me, Paul Triple H Levesque. With him in control of things, man, oh, anything could happen. I'm so excited. WrestleMania was awesome. New era, man. New era, new champion. Whew. Now, can they hold this momentum and roll with it? We shall see. 
this first Monday Night Raw, this first Friday Night SmackDown. It's going to be interesting. But it's the ones after that. We already see a snippet of what's going to happen. Drew McIntyre probably going to have, you know, a little bit of confrontation with the Judgment Day. You know, Chad Gable, Sami Zayn, might go for that title. And then we're going to definitely see the rematch with Gunther and Sami Zayn, definitely. But, yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested in seeing And now we got Jay Cargill up in there. Oh, man, the women's division is just going to be freaking phenomenal. Oh. All up and down. I enjoyed it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's stream, please hit that like button. Sub to the channel with the notifications bell turned on. That way you'll be notified whenever I go live, whenever I upload any new videos, or whenever I post to the community tab. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all tomorrow for some WWE2K24 where I do the rematch again. I'm going to beat Roman Reigns. Leg legendary difficulty, but this time for the title. I'm going to finish the story as Cody Rhodes, and then we're going to go back to my rise. But first things first, we're getting that title off the tribal chief. And we're finishing Cody's story in 2K24. But until then, I hope to see you all next time for some more video games. All right. Good night. And I actually have to get up and click the, the stream off. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone. Thank you, Lex, Ghost Wolf, Pat, everyone that showed up and was commenting. You know, keeping the, the chat lively. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for always supporting the channel. Thank you so much. See you guys next time.